Fight Back to School 2, 1992, is the follow-up to the hugely popular 1991 Hong Kong action comedy Fight Back to School, again starring Stephen Chow. Directed by Gordon Chan, the sequel retains much of the original cast and its blend of slapstick humor and action. However, while Fight Back to School 2 remains entertaining, it doesn't quite capture the plot summary, the story picks up after the events of the first film, with Chow Sing Sing, Stephen Chow, returning as a police officer. His superiors assign him to another undercover mission, this time in a prestigious, upper-class school to investigate a potential terrorist threat. The stakes are higher, and the scale of the action has expanded from the more grounded high school hijinks of the first film to a plot involving international criminals, arms dealers, and a high profile. At the new school, Chow uncovers an international arms smuggling plot and must thwart the criminal activities of a powerful gang. In the meantime, he also continues his complicated romantic entanglement with Miss Ho, Charlotte Chung, who now works as a teacher at this elite school. The film takes Chow from school hallways to more global stakes, but the spirit of slapstick and school-centered comedy remains. Humor and comedy, while Fight Back to School 2 does offer the same brand of nonsensical, over-the-top comedy that Stephen Chow is famous for, it doesn't feel as fresh or spontaneous as it did in the first film. Many of the jokes, particularly those about Chow trying to pass himself off as a student once again, feel somewhat recycled. That said, there are still plenty of laugh-out-loud moments. Stephen Chow's exaggerated expressions, quick-witted humor, and ability to make the most mundane situations hilarious keep the film afloat. His interactions with Ng Man Tat remain a highlight, with their dynamic offering a perfect blend of mentor-protege antics. Ng Man Tat, posing as a janitor, provides action and stakes, compared to the first film, Fight Back to School 2 amps up the action. The plot involving armed smugglers and international criminals gives the film a more action-heavy slant, with several high-energy shootouts, stunts, and fight scenes. However, the increased focus on action sometimes takes away from the humor. While Fight Back to School balanced comedy and action perfectly, this se- Chow Sing Sing remains a skilled police officer, but the serious stakes of dealing with armed smugglers feel somewhat out of place in what is primarily a comedy. The shift from a more grounded school environment in the first film to global crime syndicates in the second makes the film feel less cohesive. Although the final action sequences are well executed, they lack the playful tone of the first movie's action set pieces. Characters and performances, Stephen Chow is still the heart of the film, and his performance in Fight Back to School 2 remains strong. He continues to portray the stubborn and reckless Chow Sing Sing with comedic flair, but the character doesn't develop much from the first film. The same cocky attitude and schoolboy antics that worked brilliantly in the original don't feel as impactful in the sequel. Chow's chemistry with Charlotte Chung as Miss Ho is still charming. Ng Man Tat's role as Chow's mentor turned janitor is another highlight. His bumbling, well-meaning character brings warmth and humor to the film, often acting as a comedic foil to Chow. However, the supporting characters in this sequel are less memorable. The elite school setting introduces a new cast of students and villains, but none of them Sharla Chung's Miss Ho, who was a significant part of the first movie, feels underused in this sequel. While her relationship with Chow continues, it doesn't play as central a role in the narrative, making it feel like a missed opportunity for deeper character moments. Themes and Satire Fight Back to School 2 continues the satire of the education system, but this time in the context of elite international schools. The movie humorously portrays the exaggerated lifestyle of wealthy students, with expensive cars and lavish parties, poking fun at the privilege and excess. While the satire is amusing, it's not as sharp or focused as it was in the first film, where the humor was more grounded in relatable school experiences. Comparison to the first film, one of the biggest challenges facing Fight Back to School 2 is that it inevitably gets compared to its highly successful predecessor. The first film's originality, humor, and charm set a high standard, and while the sequel tries to replicate the formula, it falls short in terms of freshness. The jokes don't land as consistently, and the plot, while more action-packed, feels less cohesive and engaging. 
Conclusion, Fight Back to School 2 is an enjoyable and entertaining sequel, but it lacks the originality and tight comedic pacing of the first film. While Stephen Chow's performance and the action scenes make it a fun watch, it doesn't quite capture the same magic as the original. Fans of the first film will still find plenty to enjoy, but the sequel ultimately feels like a step down in terms of creativity and humor.